Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will post a new love reading so make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. Whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this past person feel about Sagittarius? Okay, eight of wands, five of pentacles, four of pentacles, It ended too quickly, is what I'm hearing. Nine of Swords, yeah. But like, I don't know what happened, but I feel like it happened very quickly between the two of you. Now I do love readings. Love can obviously be romantic. This could be a friend. This could be family. So take it as it resonates. It happened too quickly is what I'm getting. I feel like this person, like even if they were the one that had walked away here, um, Sagittarius, it's like they feel abandoned by you. It's almost like they, maybe they never thought you would have done that. You would have just let go. You wouldn't have messaged back or whatever it is. This person thinks about you all the time. They're just like this constant reel of Sagittarius on their mind. They're, this is anxiety. This is sleepless nights. This is someone who just can't stop thinking about you and this situation. And it happens so quick. Like, tell me about that eight of wands. Nine of Wands, I'm getting nine nine here. So look out for nines, could be something in September. Seven of Swords. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords? You're getting seven, eight, nine here as well. Wow, Nine of Cups. So nine, nine, nine now. Um, it, it's almost like this person never really told you how they truly felt. They never really told you how fulfilled they were, how happy you made them. I feel like their fear of abandonment, their fear of you leaving them was so at the forefront that they just maybe like this kind of came through for um, Leo, like just said and did things like rashly, not thinking them through. This person's very guarded. They have their, their, their shield up here and that shield never really let them say how they truly felt they're never really gonna let this go. They kept a lot to themselves. They see you as someone who, I mean, they feel like they didn't really know how you felt either. Even if you're sitting there Sagittarius, you're like, I told this person all the time how much I cared about them or how much they meant to me or how much our friendship or connection or you know whatever it is meant. It's like, it's almost like they didn't hear it. It's like, it's like you're saying the words, but it didn't, compute it didn't sink in for them so in their mind they never heard it um they wonder a lot tell me about the nine of swords they wonder a lot about you ace of cups could you two have another chance could you start over they they think about it a lot they think about coming forward about having a fresh start telling you how they feel but it, it worries them at the same time. The Nine of Swords is anxiety. It's what if. What if, fill in the blank. There's so many possibilities. What if Sagittarius rejects me? What if there was someone new? What if they don't like me anymore? What if it'll never be the same, right? Like I feel like there's all these negative thoughts that come through with this person, but they never told you how they felt. They never told you how much they cared, how much you meant to them. And everything happens so quick. I just keep getting it happens so quickly. So look out for 999, 789. Um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
We have some fire here, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have some water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel kind of how do I how do I put it? Like there, it's like a it's it feels like sadness, but it feels like emptiness more than anything here. I don't know. It feels like um This person's sort of at a loss for words. There might be a lot of like long silences with this person or maybe you just don't hear from them. They just sort of sit and think and process and like it just feels like like emptiness. Like it just feels like even if they have a lot going on in their life or whatever it might be, it doesn't feel fulfilling. It's like being in a room full of people and still feeling alone. Like that's what I get from this person. And yeah, look at that, the judgment card behind that. Like this person thinks a lot about coming forward, about having a fresh start here with you. So they're not happy. They were the happiest with you, but they never told you that. So what is this person's actions towards Sagittarius then in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. Death, Scorpio energy, the three of wands. The Hanged Man, Pisces energy, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Wow. You get this person thinking about the ending quite a bit. You get them mulling it over, just like I was saying. Like they're just sort of sitting here thinking about it. They're not doing much, they're not saying much. And then all of a sudden there's like this switch in perspective. It takes this person a while, but they do want to come together here with you. They feel like you're a soulmate. Now soulmates for me, Sagittarius, are those people you just feel drawn to. You can't really explain it. Your souls already know each other, right? So that's how this person feels. There's just something inexplicable here. They, they want a heart to heart. They want a conversation. They want union. Tell me more about the two of cups. They feel like they can't help themselves. If I, oof. Five of Cups, Temperance. This person has a lot of regret. A lot of regret. Like It's like they're kicking themselves for what they did in the past, but then they kick themselves for taking too long to come towards you. Then they kick themselves when they're actually with you for everything else. Like It's like this person hopes that the two of you can meet halfway, that you can compromise, that you'll be patient with them here. They feel like they've already asked quite a lot from you, but this person um, feels really bad. They do. There's a lot of shame. There's a lot of guilt here. So I feel like for the next little bit, like I said, they don't do anything. They kind of like stand still for a bit and then slowly they come towards you. And there's actually this, I don't even feel like it's like a confession, but I feel like them coming in, like connecting with you again and coming back together with you brings up all these other feelings. And it's like, why the five of cups? It's hard for them to even like process that. They were stubborn, the emperor. You, the thing is, you won't. You might not even know this about this person. Aries energy here. You might not even know. They might have a really good poker face. Sagittarius, like, there's no... But you can feel it. If you can feel... Because soulmates can feel these kinds of things. If you can feel this person's emptiness or sadness or, like, regret, but they're not actually saying it, because I'm not getting swords here, right? Like, I don't see this person actually saying it. I see them actually pretending, like, they're all good. Right, They do want to take initiative here. They want to step up here with the emperor energy, but they're not telling you. I feel like it's also this emperor energy, this stubbornness, this hard-headedness, this inability to sort of compromise in the past is also what caused the issues, but they're still doing it, right? Just because it's the emperor doesn't mean this person has to be a male. It's just about energy. So eventually I do see a message coming through here. I do see them coming forward, but there's a lot that comes with it. I feel like there's a heaviness that comes with this person reaching out to you, but you won't you won't necessarily know it. But they can't help themselves. Anything else about the two of cups? They can't help but come forward because they can't stop thinking about you. Their soul is like calling to yours. Oof, the lovers. You see? Gemini energy for the lovers to clarify the two of cups here 
Sagittarius, this is a strong connection. This is powerful. This is this person being like, I made the wrong choice before, or I've been making the wrong choices in our connection, not telling you how I feel. And they, they want to choose differently here. Like you are it for them. Whatever happens between the two of you in the next two weeks is like life changing here. Whatever this path is, it like, it's, it's like setting the course for the rest of the, the two of you and your journey. But just know this person does regret a lot of things that were said, done, or not said, or not done. Right? Sometimes it's not always about what this, what someone did or said to you. It's like that they didn't show up a certain way. So again, could be Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius energy. If you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Yeah, you, so you have a very strong connection coming in. And if you've been thinking about them a lot, or you've been sort of wondering if they're coming back, all of a sudden they're on your mind, it's because they're thinking about it. And the two of you, like soul connections are, are very strong. They're very deep, right? Even if you've been physically distant from this person, your, your energetic cords will pull on each other. And I feel like that's what's happening. So what's this person's intentions then? Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, the world. Definitely wanting a new beginning here. Four of Wands, yeah. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Oof, it's that choice again. This person's well aware that them coming back, them trying to start things up again, even if it is like flirty or like, you know, that spark that the two of you just can't like deny between each other, like going after that, it's going to change the course of everything here. It's going to start a new cycle. But what this person wants is success with you. They want to take it to that next level. They want stability. They want fun. They want their love back. They want your love back. So again, even if it is, you know, it doesn't always have to be romantic. This person wants to be mature. This person doesn't want to act, you know, um, like emotionally. They want to make rash decisions here, right? Like they want to show you that they can love you properly. The lovers used to be called the choice. This person realizes like there's this choice to make. But I feel like with all these other cards coming out, they're like, I got to close out this cycle of being indecisive. I got to close out this cycle of not telling Sagittarius how I feel like I just need to go for it because they want more here with you. Look at how these two lovers look at each other. Like you can't deny that sort of energy. And I feel like they've, they've tried to deny it. I feel like they've tried to sort of say, oh, I don't know, or I'm unsure, or, like who knows between the two of us. But in reality, it's like, that's not what they really want. Yeah. So they plan to come forward. They intend to spark things up again. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. They tend to see where this can go. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to make an offer here. That's what they intend to do. Even if it is just as friends at first. They want to spark things up again. They want to light the fire. See where it goes. So what's the potential outcome then? Four of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Look at all of these Pentacles coming through here. I mean, I feel like there is some back and forth here. I'm not going to lie. Three of Wands. But this is, if you've been waiting for this person to come back, I feel like the time is now. It is happening, right? You're getting two, you're getting Ace, two, three, four. Again, a lot of synchronicities here, right? So look out for synchronicities, especially nines, fives, threes. Ace, two, one, two, three, four. Um, these, <laughs> there's a lot of work in between an ace and a 10. But that's not how this person feels. This person feels like they're ready. They're ready to jump from the offer right into something established here. Something long-term, something stable, something grounded. I feel like this back and forth could be you, could be like, I don't know if I should give this a chance or not, but it's also, ex I feel like for the both of you, it's exactly what you've both wanted. It's finally here. Maybe it's taken some time for the two of you to be able to get to this point, but I feel like there's this mutual energy of like never really fully letting go, 
right? Wanting to, to build something solid here. All these pentacles makes me feel like it's more about the two of you grounding yourself, like building something um, strong, right? Um, making sure nothing can shake you because I don't know what shook this before, but it's like, we're not going to let that happen again. We're going to have this solid foundation. Four of cups. Yeah, they'd be missing out. Now you're getting four, four. They'd be missing out on this opportunity, but I gotta be honest with you, Sad Chairs, I feel like you would feel the same. So I see a coming together here. I see an offer. I see a fresh start. I see establishing something here. Anything else about the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, building something. Ten of Wands. You're getting 10 10 now. <laughs> It's going to feel like a lot of work. It's not going to be easy. Whether it's worth it or not is up to you. But I see something solid being established here, Sagittarius. So maybe this is you being like, listen, you got to put the work in. You got to show me that this is worth it to you. Right? Um, but I feel like it's happening. How will Sagittarius know who this is? Nine of Swords, again, someone who overthinks, very anxious. Three of Swords, they're heartbroken. They're sad. Eight of Cups, they walked away from this. They were emotionally unavailable. They acted like they didn't care. The Empress, oof, we got the Emperor and the Empress here. This could have been someone who expected to receive all the time, expected to you to show up all the time, expected for you to um, take the lead, take the initiative. I feel like they're now in the emperor energy trying to trying to come forward. Like that can be a very stubborn energy, but it's also someone who's like taking action, right? Um, you know what else it is? I feel like this person's trying to step more into their feminine. They're trying to be more receiving of your love, of your support, of your friendship, of your connection, whatever it is, because I feel like they weren't before. I feel like they're very closed off. This is someone who's heartbroken, even if it was them who walked away. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Any advice for Sagittarius? Ooh. Eight of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Six of Swords. Remember why you distance yourself in the first place? It's not to say like, oh, don't do, don't get back together. Because look, I see the judgment card and the sun right behind it. I feel like there is possibility for like a chance to come here and it being really good. But remember why your walls were up in the first place is what I'm getting. Don't have them so high up that this person can't come in and you can't see where this could go. But just remember everything you've learned. Especially if there's been a long separation period. The hermit card speaking to your spiritual growth, your wisdom. Don't forget all that when you're connecting with this person, right? Because I feel like it's going to happen quick again. Like the eight of wands is here again. Whatever this is, it happens quickly between the two of you. So let's see. Base, secret admirer. <laughs> maybe not so secret. Maybe it is a secret. Maybe you don't know who this is yet. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Let me pull on that. What is this? Finger. Temperance. Eight of Pentacles. It's, it's literally just about, it's going to be patience. Patience is key. There's going to be work to be put in this. I'm also getting, this is a complete side message. If there's been a work issue or there's been a feeling of something going on at work, be patient. Don't make a move just yet. Don't say anything just yet. But it's just warning you that like this is going to be a lot of work. This is not going to be, oh, the two of us just love each other. We're back together. Everything's perfect. There's going to be work to be put in here, whether that's sitting down, having conversations. I don't know, going to therapy, um, establishing boundaries, something like that. I don't know. There's like, it's like you two have, there's a lot of work to be put in. Whale, great worry over nothing. Again, this person got the nine of swords twice. Worrying, worrying, worrying. What if? Over and over again. Gong, an exciting event. Whatever that could be. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Again, it could just be confirmation. And getting together with friends. So I don't know if this is just a friend. 
I see a wish is granted at the bottom. I'll take that. Out. See if there's anything from this Oracle deck for you. Look at this past life, knowing deja vu past love. There's just a knowing here. There's just like a deeper understanding. Maybe no one else in this world gets it, but the two of you get it. Could have even had past lives together, right? Um, past life regressionists could be helpful with that, but you can also connect to a love psychic Sagittarius and try to ask them some questions. Check out my link in the description box below. Your first five minutes with them will be completely free. So you could ask them, you know, have I met this person before? What was our past life together? Could you even go as far back as ancient Egypt, like this card suggests? Look at new love, new person, unknown person. It's like you guys know each other, but there's a new opportunity here. There's a fresh start here. You, it may even just feel like you just don't even know who this new person is because they're acting so different. Freedom, casual, being single, lightness. And long distance. I don't know if this is a long distance relationship. I also see destiny at the bottom. Let's see. Messages from this person for Sagittarius. We are living two separate lives. Now, could be because of the distance again, right? Maybe there's differences in, um, I don't know, culture, religion, like physical location. I couldn't let you get close to me. They were not open to receiving before. It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. I feel like this person could have really made you feel like they lied. Like they did not tell you how much they actually cared. I replay our conversations over and over. I smile on the outside, but I'm dying on the inside. You see, you may not know. This person may look perfectly happy. They're not. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Maybe they felt like a backup or something. I have things going going on in my life that require my full attention. That could speak to that two of pentacles as well. No one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. You and I were too young. So. Anything else for Sagittarius? Okay. No need to worry and let go. So if this is meant to be, remember, what is yours will never pass you by, Sagittarius. If this is meant to be, it will meant to be. It will be. No need to worry. Right? I see something long since. This might be one of those situations like we're always going to be in each other's lives. Right? Maybe it'll be some work to put in, but we'll always have each other. Right? We did get guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Maybe you also feel guilty for something here. But this person definitely does. Sagittarius. And death. Look at this. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Write that in the comments, Sagittarius. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah, so maybe, I mean, you did get the death card too. There has to be an ending for a new beginning to come. Whatever has happened has been exactly how it should happen. Messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. So this sort of feeling of things being restored between the two of you. You just got message in a bottle. So messenger, message in a bottle, and mending. Let me just read the, uh, the little blurb for this messenger card. Let's see what it says. How are you being called to bring harmony to your life or the planet? How are you being called to honor the sacred masculine and feminine within you? Hmm. Bring about harmony between the masculine and the feminine. 
Okay. Um, let's see, message in a bottle. Definitely a message coming from this person. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. So, again, if you've been feeling it, it is happening. It is coming here. Sagittarius. And then Mending is the very last card in this book. And it says, Heartbreak is a strange healer of souls. Our grief strips away our masks and loosens our tight hold on our separateness, where we view ourselves as I and the world as it. Loss allows us to see ourselves as part of a larger scheme, opening us up to empathy, sympathy, and dependence on others in the moment when we can't hold ourselves together. And it leads us to become one with the greater whole again. Pain and suffering is a part of life and none of us will be immune to it. Can you view this loss, this pain, this dissonance as a way back to source? Let your sorrow break your heart wide open. You will never be left behind. You are loved now more than ever by spirit who does not want you to feel alone. One day you will look back and know this truth. Wow. So even though we can see cards like the three of swords, right? Sagittarius, we can say this is just awful. It's painful. It's horrible. But it's allowing, like this card suggests, you and this person to break open, to see things from a different perspective, to do things differently. Right? It's a strange healer of souls. I actually love how it's put like that. But let's see. Okay. Do we have any numbers? No numbers. Just a lot of letters today. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate, though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got L, U, C, K, Y, which spells out lucky, and then B, G, Q, V, and X. Okay, Sagittarius, so I hope something here resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I'm sending you so much love and so much light.